Welcome to our launch of 200th flight of Typhon Webcast. My name is Olivia and I am staff engineering at Cobra Seal Space Exploration. Today's mission was a special launch as this was the 200th flight of Typhon. Typhon is a super heavy rocket can carry about a thousand tons into low Earth orbit. Original developer is Cobra Seal Space Exploration, also known as CSSE. The first flight took a place on August 4, 20,203, and also, it was the first successful mission of Typhon. After 149 flight, Cobra Seal announced a collaboration with Diamond Aerospace to upgrade the Typhon design represents a significant advancement in sustainable space exploration. The first flight took a place on May 22, 2024. Yes, it reached 149 flight in a year and few months. Typhon has been proved for a lot of aerospace company including United States Space Force and others. Launching a hundred of commercial to classified mission to space and provide an inspiration for a lot of company. Cheap, reliability, reusability and advanced rocket is an important key for Typhon to reaching 200 flight in just under two year. This flight represent our hard work team for uniting billions of peoples from space and launching two or more flight in a day. This significant milestone is a big present for Cobra Seal Space Exploration, being the most fastest company to reach 200 flight. We're three minutes away before liftoff of the 200 strong Typhon. The prop load has been completed and now the teams is checking the computer to see any problem. If there's any problem the launch will scrubbed and we can try another attempt in a few days or even a few hours. Three minute before the launch. No issue call out, but maybe we can have it before the launch. I'll give you an update here if we have any issue call out. Alright, it looks like we don't have any issue running from now, but we, so with that I'll stop commentary from now and see you after liftoff. minus 30.
Booster after chamber pressure is nominal. All teams tri triage alarms. Tower telemetry nominal. T plus 30 second after liftoff, the vehicle is now on its way to space for 200 times. The vehicle, the vehicle is position. now pitching down ahead for maximum aerodynamic pressure. Max Q, Max Q is confirmed. The highest stress on the vehicle while on the way to space. Next up will be staging in a few minutes from now. Passing one minute into the flight, vehicle condition looks good and following the expected nominal trajectory. Acquisition signal Houston. Houston is now tracking the vehicle, continues to ascent one minute and 30 second. The staging sequence will begin shortly. Let's watch and listen from the mission control. Booster engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. In the ignition. Staging confirmed. The first stage making its way back to Earth, while the second stage is on the way to orbit. Next up, the fairing that cover the payload while ascent will detition. We don't need that anymore. Fairing separation confirmed. Here it is. The fairing that cover the payload is detision exposing the alloy satellite. A gorgeous view from both stage. The first stage still making its way to splashdown area. The recovery will use parachute like others NASA and others method use. The right-hand screen is a view of the Diamond Aerospace Alloy Satellite. If you ain't familiar, Alloy is a Constellation Network satellite to provide low latency, high-speed, and cheap internet for around the world. This was the second generation of Alloy, and this was the larger version than other Alloy satellite, also known as Alloy Titanium. Large payload 5 meter and 2.1 meter wide large, multi-spot beam Ka band satellite capable sending 350 gigabyte per second. This satellite aimed to give internet to served areas on the planet, different as alloy electrum. Alloy titanium also much larger capable and designed to support sending more and more capacity Stage down one to FTS Earth. Is alloy safe. titanium orbit is placed on geostationary Earth orbit geo much higher Stage orbit two than alloy to electron. Nominal trajectory. We have a cal out there that the second stage is following an expected trajectory, is a nominal cal out, so we don't have to worry about it. The first stage should splash down in just a few minutes from now. Two minutes from now. Entering Earth atmosphere with high speed. The first stage will create a high temperature plasma after reach the lowest atmosphere. We should see the plasma.
Another view of the second stage still making its way to orbit. We should see the second staging in few minutes before the first stage splashdown. The kick stage will help the payload to reach its geostationary transfer orbit. Another gorgeous view of the first stage. Still waiting for the drow parachute to deploy, then followed the main parachute to deploy and then splashdown confirmed. And Here's the plasma created on the first stage while reaching the lowest atmosphere. The second stage engine cutoff is confirmed and kick stage is detision. The kick stage will ignite to reach low Earth stage orbit. Stage 1 entry transonic. Stage 2 terminal We should guides. see the parachute deployed in just a few seconds from now. Stage 2 FTS is Here safe. Here it is. The drow parachute is deployed following the main parachute deployed in few seconds from now. And splashdown confirmed. Congratulations to teams. Stage one nominal landing confirmed. The third engine cutoff should be in a few seconds from now. The kick stage will ignite the engine to reach geostationary transfer orbit. And here it is. The flight to 100 strong has ended successfully. Congratulations to all teams to completing this spectacular milestone. We'd like to thank you to our customer Diamond Aerospace for entrusting us with their payload. We also give a shout out to Federal Aviation Administration and Range for supporting this mission. 
Thank you and see you in the other side.